This is Chippy from UMC Portal, and in this video, I've got a couple of firsts for you. It's the first time we've ever tested an 11.1, 11.6 inch uh, laptop. We usually keep devices on UMC Portal under 10 inch screen size and one kilogram in weight. The reason I'm doing this is because this is for my ultra mobile video editing project, and you're watching this video being recorded on a Nokia N8 at 720p. The idea is to combine the N8 and the Lenovo S201 on the AMD Fusion platform. It's a CAR-T CPU, dual core, 1.6 gigahertz, uh, four gigs of RAM, um, and a 1366 by 768 screen. Combine the two for a solution that could do 720p video editing on the go at a fairly low cost as well. Uh, first thing to do though, and what I'll do in this video is unbox the, the Lenovo S201 and uh, we'll take a look around the device. Okay, let's unbox the uh, S201. As I said, 11.6 inch screen, 1366 by 768 is a resolution, which is quite important for uh, video editing. The main uh, reason I bought this, because some video editing apps just won't install in anything less than 768 vertical resolution. Uh, four gigs of RAM, half a terabyte drive, uh, the AMD Sakati CPU with the 1.6 gigahertz dual core in it, um, and of course the Radeon graphics as well. So let's just take the device out to the side and show you what's, what's in the box first. And a reminder, I'm recording this on the Nokia N8 with Camera Pro application, which has got the continuous autofocus feature. I hope this works, because I don't want to have to do this unboxing again, especially now that I've broken the seal. Let's have a look in, let's see what we've got then. And uh, there's the setup poster. <laughs> yep, I'll be putting that on my bedroom wall. Uh, here's the charger. Nice small charger with the three pole, which means it's got the heavy kettle type cable on it, which is, yeah, not so great for, for mobility. But that's a nice small adapter. Let's have a look. I guess that's 19 volts there. 20 volts. So be careful. 20 volt uh, power. Don't go plugging that into your other devices. Here's the six cell battery. And I want to see what uh, capacity this is in terms of what hours. It feels uh, fairly hefty. Uh, so I'm expecting something like 50, maybe a bit more. 48 watt hours. So it's not a hugely uh, high capacity battery. 48, let's see if we can zoom in and get that focused. Uh, 48 watt hours on that. So yeah, let's say a fairly budget battery on that. And that's it. There's no uh, recovery discs in there all we've got is the device itself which we'll now take a look at so the given weight for this is something between 1.3 and 1.5 kilos it obviously depends i guess on the battery options and what's built inside the device um, but the the interesting thing is because it's slightly bigger than a netbook your eyes are expecting something um, a little bit heavier than this so it feels pretty good um, it is about 1.4 kilos. I think uh, uh, endevil.com have tested the weight on this and they checked it out at 1.4 kilos. And um, there you go. You've got chiclet keyboard plastics. Um, well, it's not uh, Lenovo business quality plastics, but there's no creaking, cracking, bending. Feels pretty good. The hinge, just checking that now, is fairly sturdy certainly sturdier than the uh, Acer 522 that I've been testing um, let's take some of that plastic off from around the screen there let's get that off there come on Windows 7 home prof uh, home premium on this so you have got uh, the full uh, Windows Home stack, the ability to change backgrounds, and of course the media player, which is actually quite important on a device like this. Let's just go around and you'll see power, VGA out, USB 2, and multi-card uh, SD card slot. Here's the um, fairly small mouse pointer. Nice finish on that though. It um, feels quite nice. And mouse pointers actually really, really nice. Quite liking those. This is a little lamp that lights up when you've disabled the mouse pad. Um, going across the front then, nothing there apart from some some lights there. And on this side we've got, let's just get that in the light, 
um, headphones, microphone. This is a Wi-Fi or radios on and off button, which is very useful for power saving. If you just want to do some, some text input, you don't need the Wi-Fi on. Uh, HDMI out, of course. That will support 1080p out. And two USB 2s. This is your uh, Kensington lock port, I guess. And I think that's a 10100 Ethernet port, not a 10100 gig Ethernet port. Uh, underneath the device, there's no access panels to get to RAM or hard disk. Uh, but I understand that you can actually get to the hard disk. Uh, it takes a few, a, a few screws. I think 20 or 15 screws is what uh, endevil.com told me this morning. Um, potential slot there for uh, SIM cards. So obviously they're thinking they're going to be 3G versions of this. Um, but that's blocked off on this version. And that's pretty much it. I'm looking for speaker ports, and I think those two there are probably the very small speaker ports on this. So let's just take the cover off there. Quite a nice uh, finish. I don't know if you can see the pattern in the reflection. That's, you can just about see it there. There's a kind of brickwork sort of pattern on there which is quite a nice uh, color it's got a little bit of looks like a little bit of purple in it but it's uh black and shiny of course it's going to be getting fingerprints on it not the thinnest of devices certainly seen thinner and um yeah of course 11.6 means it's a lot bigger than your average netbook so let's just get this uh battery in without uh, damaging it it's a fairly thick battery you see that sticking out a good uh, 10, 12 millimeters there, lifting the back up, but giving you quite a nice typing position. And that is a really, really nice keyboard. It has a little um, kind of soft touch covering on the on the keys here, which feels really nice. I'm sure this is going to be a fast keyboard to type on. Um, here's the on button on the top left here. So let's see if we've got any power. It's booting now. And I guess this is first boot on Windows, so that's going to take a while. I'll get back to you when that's booted for the first time. So while that's uh, booting, there's the weight, one for 60 grams, just under 1.5 kilos. This isn't a light, ultra light notebook by any means. Okay, we're just coming to the end of uh, Windows 7 Home Premium Setup. I've got a German keyboard here. It's obviously bought in Germany. And the version of Windows running here is German as well. Um, just waiting for that to go into Windows. And then we'll do some uh, quick tests on uh, browsing, networking. Check the disk partition sizes and see what sort of Windows performance index we can get out of it. So uh, here we are booted into Windows. Uh, took a little while, McAfee popped up and um, did its usual song and dance on first boot. Um, thanks McAfee for screwing up every, no, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> right, what I wanna do now is just download Crystal Mark and do a run through of Crystal Mark and we'll get an idea of the performance of the device. Okay, the CPU test results coming in there. And uh, Crystal Mark is, is an application I've been using for quite a while, so I get a good idea of how it compares with other devices I've tested in the past. So what I can say there is that the performance isn't blindingly fast. Uh, we're looking at something like 50% more CPU performance here than the one gigahertz uh, AMD um, Sakati, not Sakati, Ontario uh, APU and something equivalent to a dual core atom maybe a bit more 10 percent more maybe um, so not a stunning amount of performance there this is going to be borderline whether it's really able to edit 720p video it uh, might have we might have to uh, settle for 480p on, on this video see how it goes uh, memory speeds there okay no problems there and we'll get onto the hard disk speeds and the uh, 3d speeds and uh, see what the total score is okay just running through the last of the crystal mark tests here full polygon mode on 3d rendering 
And uh, those of you that have used netbooks in the past will know that uh, the Intel-based netbooks struggle with two of these uh, images being shown on the screen at the time. That's 64 of them. Total score then uh, on Crystal Mark, 47,820. Let's put that into a bit of perspective. On a, on a Pine Trail netbook, you can expect something around 20 to 27,000. Top end would be 27,000 with a decent disc. Um, on the AMD uh, C50 based devices, I was seeing 35,000 as a score, basically because the... Uh, um, no, sorry, I was seeing 25,000 on the C50 because the CPU results are lower than that on the uh, lower than those that you'll see on the Intel platform, but the 3D scores are higher, so it balances out. But 47,000 is a, a good amount higher. A lot of that's coming out of the 3D platform. The hard disk is quite good, as is the memory uh, and the CPU. So general improvements all around. It's not a blinding score. It's not a really stunning score. You're going to get a lot more performance out of an ultra ultra low voltage core i3 or core i5 a lot more performance than, than that on the cpu and uh, gpu result, uh, cpu results anyway so all in all it's looking okay so far no showstoppers that i can see yet we've got a glossy screen which you'll need to consider i just tested the speakers they are pretty average for a, a device i.e you can just about use them for uh, listening to a video but nothing much else um, we will test hdmi out and of course this video will be edited on this device. So if it turns up at uh, 720p on YouTube, you know I've managed to achieve it, but I'll let you know in the notes how long it took to actually render this video. This is uh, Chippy with the Lenovo S102 AMD based laptop or notebook. And uh, I'm at umpcportal.com. You can check out more testing of AMD platforms, Intel platforms, Ultra, ultra mobile PCs uh, and pro mobile equipment there and hope to see you there soon. Thanks for watching.